Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Sumo Fighter for the Game Boy. In the last video, we not only got through World 4 on hard mode, but we also got max experience. We have everything maxed out now. And all that's left to do is just go through World 5 on hard mode. And then after that, it's on to the super difficulty. And of course, as always, you never know who might drop in on you, so you do want to be careful. Pun somewhat intended there. And if you guys would stop running into me, that would be great. And when you get over here to where the bonus area is, there is this demon head flying around throwing projectiles out. Want to stay away from him? And I'm just going to use the the um, bonus areas as a means of replenishing health and skipping part of the stage and for those two purposes only. It's not like I was really going to win that thumb war anyway. And now that the hard part is out of the way, more or less. We can just kind of make our way through here a little bit. Still want to be careful. Thankfully, there is nothing here inside these rocks. And we can just make our way to the goal, just like that. The one floating demon head that I saw before the bonus area is the only one that I was going to see anyway. Password is zero. Five, two, six, nine, one. And I've kept that password on long enough, so let us go ahead and play stage five two after watching the map scroll all the way to the left. Again, I could press A and skip all of this, but I choose not to. So let's go ahead and do this, shall we? And this is the area with all the rock platforms and all the gauges with the deformed heads who drop the skulls that I don't want to grab. There are a couple of fireballs here. And there's a guy in a raccoon suit. Let's stomp. So that way we can get rid of him. Don't know why the game wasn't letting me do that before. And there's a floating demon head. Let's just move away from him. He is not the first one that will be seen here. Yeah, at this point, I'm skipping enemies just for the sake of it. Not all points are good points. But you probably already figured that out. Just from the easy mode playthrough of this. How am I fighting all these things off? I have no idea. Let us go over to here. There's no way he can get to us. Let's jump over the geisha. And from here, we need to make our way over the floating demon head and into a bonus area. Oh, no. And just get our health back and skip part of the stage. Because why not? Now, if I do get arm wrestling or sumo wrestling, I'll still play that like I normally do. I mean, there's no excuse for me not to, especially when I perfectly know how. And yes, I will look up how to do the thumb war thing eventually. It, I just need to remember to do it. And there's another floating demon head. Just move to the right. The less time it spends on screen, the better. Password. Eight. Five. Five. Two. Six, five, and I'll leave that password up a little while longer so I can so I can get a drink of tea. All right, last level of the game, and thankfully, the hard stuff isn't really going to be much of a factor anymore. Stage five three is definitely going to be easier in comparison to stages five one and five two. So. We just need to follow the path, not fall in any bamboo spikes. The only video game trap I know of that I know is effective in real life. Well, 
aside from the obvious crushing ceiling, but when are you ever going to see a crushing ceiling in anything other than a movie? Not like a ceiling that suddenly collapses in on itself and just drops all in one quick motion. I'm talking about like one of these slowly moving ceilings that just slowly move downwards and doesn't stop. That kind of falling ceiling. Alright. Still got the same enemies as usual. The enemies have not changed between easy and hard. Amazingly. So, if you were wondering about that, no, the enemies here aren't any different. And, can I still drop down? No, I can't drop down. And what am I thinking that down in A will let me drop down when in reality it's just going to make me stomp? Well, it's not like there's really much of anything I need in there anyway, inside those blocks. So, we can, just, we can just go wherever we want here anyway. At this rate, we're only grabbing experience items for points. And this is where we fight the boss. First of two bosses. This guy is going to bring the game the most trouble. You want to hit him, cause him to drop down. Not drop down, but jump back. And then he charges at you. When he charges at you, that's when you jump and jump over him. Well, that's not exactly how I wanted to do that, but I'll take it. And sure, I'll just do it this way. Why not? And he's getting low on health, so he's just going to keep continuously shaking. Now to get our health back, now we're really going to need it against the second boss who I can just punch into oblivion as soon as he shows up. Get out of here. And we now have a password. Nine. Five. Two. Six. Zero. One. And I am copying that down because I'm going to put it in later. Why, you ask? Well, we've reached the end of hard mode. And we get a slightly different message. Congratulations. Level hard clear. Let's try. Oh, there's another mode? Super! Believe it or not, there is a third difficulty that you can unlock after beating the game on hard. It is called Super. And Super is even tougher. It feels more or less like hard mode, except, well, if you die, I believe you lose one of your stats in case you do die. So, losing lives, not fun. Be prepared to copy down passwords and keep them where you can find them so you can ha you can try to get through levels as, as flawlessly as you can without dying so that way you can keep your stats and you can blow through super mode. And there it is. There's Easy, Hard, and Super. If we beat Super, we get the credits. And while I could start a new game from Super from here, that pretty much brings me all the way back down to level zero stats. I don't want to do that. Instead, I have the password 952601 that I'm going to input next time so I can start Super with all of my stats. So join me next time where we go through the game in super difficulty, starting with World 1. Until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care.
stay safe, and thanks for watching!